you guys, it's Genius Incorporated here, this time with a review, sorry my Captain Crunch, anyways, um, I'm on the floor, and I'm using my webcam on my laptop, because today's review is going to be on my tripod, this is my tripod that I use to record all of my YouTube videos, um, my very first video, I used the same camera that you're seeing now, um, it's, I don't really like this camera because everything is opposite and delayed and um, it's not really good sound wise and all this stuff but I can't use my two good cameras to record a video of my cam that just doesn't make sense and I can't record without my tripod which I'm reviewing none of that makes sense so I had to use this camera and um so let's get right into the review of the tripod. Okay, so this tripod is a Velbon. It's a hold on, let me see. It's a Velbon CX440, 440, and uh, that's what the label looks like. So yeah, it's called Velbon. This is my actually my first time hearing about this company. Uh, I think the tripod came with one of the old the old old camcorders the tapes but you know anyways I use it and the little tray that goes in here that you unlatch and latch actually fits my like the little tray actually comes out and it fits into your the bottom of your camera and it screws right in and you just put it and you just clamp it in here and then there you have it so let's talk more about the tripod and I'll get to the cameras later um, we can start with the legs of the tripod. The tripod has two sets of legs. Well, technically three. They have these main short legs that are like really small that fold in like this. And then on this first latch that you see right here, we have uh, one set of legs, which is maybe close to two feet. And this one is, these ones right here is about close to two feet. So you extend it as far as you want, or you can keep it like this and clamp it, or all the way extend it and clamp it. And then you just clamp it like that, and then all of them do that, but I'm not going to undo all of them. So, and then it stands up to about this tall. So it went from this tall to this tall. And then it goes even taller. So... Then, if you unhook this last clamp at the bottom, a little skinnier one comes out. And then just clamp it back up. And now, I can't even fit it in the shot. That's how tall it is. But it's like way up there. And, um, so yeah, it goes pretty tall. And if this tall, like from all the way to there, isn't tall enough for you. Um, what you can do is, hold on, I'm trying to unclamp this, what you can do is there's a little, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little, like a little knob here, let's see, there's a little knob right there that twists back and forth, and if you loose it just a little bit, what you can do is, you can, there's a little handle right here. And if you wind it up, it extends the little neck part that actually holds the camera. So it extends it pretty far out, maybe almost the same size of each leg. So that's another uh, leg kind of thing that adds out. So this thing can go super tall. And I always use this camcord, I mean this tripod. And so if you ever see me saying I gotta wind it up, this is what I mean if you didn't know. So let's tighten that back up. Um, there's also one of the same things right here. And it's pretty loose, I always keep it loose. What that controls is the movement of this. So because it's loose, you can spin this whole thing around with this little handle. But if you tighten it, hold on. If you tighten it, you, you can't move it at all. And I don't want to break it, but you can't move it at all. You get the point. Um, okay. 
So, one more thing is there's a little hinge right here that makes it able to move this part back and forth, up and down. Also with the handle. So the handle can move this way and this way. Uh, there's no tightening thing for that. I don't believe. They might be. Okay, so this little tightening thing. There's a lot of tightening things. If you unloose it, you're able to bend this back and forth like this. This is the tray that actually holds the camera. And you can bend this back and forth. But I mean, I wouldn't want to do that. But some people might. It just depends. So I always keep that tight. All the other ones I normally keep it loose. And last but not least, we have this thing right here. It's a little tray that screws into the camcord. Like, and there's like, this is what's on the bottom of the camcord. This little thing right here, and it screws into there. All of the cameras have them, well, at least all of mine do. And it screws in like this. Screw it in. And, um, and it screws it in. And to put the camera on, all you gotta do is show you this the best I can. Okay. All you gotta do is you see this, you unclamp this, and you just set the tray in there the correct way. You'll know if it's the wrong way, if because it won't go in. Only one side will go in. But when both sides go in flat, then you know it's the correct way, and then you can press the clamp down on the back. And so now the camera is safe and secure inside. I mean, on top of the tripod. Uh, the camera you're seeing now is a camera that I've just recently got and recently have started using. A lot of my older videos, I use this camera. And I also use this camera for Lego stop motion. So I've been using this one a lot more because I have a Lego. My data is filled with all these Lego stop motion pictures. So I have more of my newer and improved videos on this little camcord right here which is actually really good I really like it because this thing turns around so while I'm filming I can see my own self instead of just assuming that the shot is lined up with this one so I think both of my cameras are really nice uh, the video is lasting kind of long um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys are interested in buying your own tripod I have many I have only like one more tripod which is like this big and it came with this little baby cheap camcorder I had years ago and I still have it and it does work really well but this one is more professional and I'm getting into more professional equipment. This video is lasting a little bit too long so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. As always this is Genius Incorporated signing off. Bye!